wake up and remind yourself as to who are you you know we we go see a go guys see a go like come go hey yummies welcome back to our channel if you're new be yummy five by clicking the subscribe button right now and the notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a new video to the returning subbies welcome back my yummies i appreciate and love you all so i thought today let me do a mukbang while i chat candidly about just my experiences about being my 20s and um maybe share insights and hear your insights as well because i know i stronger subaningi the context of the 20s and it's just an aspect of just one of the um the three pillars of this channel which is adulting so i thought you know i've been shying away from this topic or this segment of this channel but it's very important because it's it's not being spoken about and it's stuff that we should be speaking about because see i go song so if you want to hear all things candid 20s go our 20s how we can maneuver and thrive as we should be in our 20s stick around and let's go having my five 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 tacos that mail <laughs> from Didi's kitchen I absolutely abso abso absolutely love tacos are you a hot shell or a soft shell type of girl let me know down below I think personally I'm, I love hot shells but the soft shells are more filling mm. <laughs> okay cool so i think i'm gonna do a lot of talking instead of eating hmm. so i thought this is important because one i'm in my 20s almost late 20s and it's been really really scary to say the least um and i know that i'm not alone and I know that there's been so many of us who have been thinking about this, but because of so many societal pressures, we don't want to seem like the outcast and be the one who's gonna come out and be vulnerable about what they're going through in their twenties. And it's it's so bad because it takes us back because if we've been candid and honest and share our processes, we're able to show others that look, you're not alone and it also helps you as a person to know that, listen, this road, you're not walking it alone, basically. So, um, for the longest time, I've always shied away also to share my process, but I found it so empowering when I watch other people, or listen to other people talking about uh, things they've conquered, but seeing the process of um, where they were not so great to being really, really amazing and conquering what they wanted to conquer and i remember when i went back home a family member of, of mine was like yo Emma, you should really be talking about like the realities of what goes on you know because all we see is always the end result and really that's what people see they see the congrats um oh i'm so proud i'm so um excited to show you guys this um it's all the great things after the hard long process they don't get to know that listen people have been crying people have been going through things they can't even talk about you know and sometimes um you want to talk about those things but also um, they'll come back and want to use those things against you and i guess that's why a lot of us we never want to share our journeys and our processes. So come on. 
but I think if we did, we would be so far ahead with just empowering one another and just moving towards a place where we know that as core sort like this journey is really shouldn't be as lonely as it is and i think for women it's even more um of a of a weird ride for lack of a better word because we are so um fixated in the ideas of we need to do this we need to do that by this age especially because um of the biological clock um thing being against us because we know at this age we need to have done that and it puts a necessary pressure um on us that we we go see go guys see go like come go i don't know, like it's not even funny but they are shaker because so she is our show like i think is our design of putting the grand ukubona so this even takes me back to a conversation i started in my head and based on things that i've been consuming on social media about self-care and that self-care is um doing the hard things the hard work um that allows you to empower yourself to get to where you need to be and want to be so that you don't self sabotage yourself and in that way you're creating a life for yourself that you won't run away from and then um deciding that you are able to reward yourself with this, the moss the chocolates the wines the bubble baths you know that soft um self care i think it only comes once you created that life where you don't want to run away from it and for me like it was low key self drag because i know for a fact that there's been times where um it wouldn't necessarily be um my anxiety but i would be so fixated in that idea of maybe it is maybe it is that i end up believing that mm. where else i'm just being lazy to to do the work that needs to be done because at the end of the day it's going to pile up i'm going to be distracted i'm going to leave things for last minute and that's being unkind to myself that's not self care so realizing that as well and just decluttering my space of things that won't allow me to get to that point you know for example when i posted the other day on instagram that um it's okay for people even family members and friends to unfollow or mute accounts that they feel make them feel some type of way because we are human and acknowledging the human aspect that when you are at a place where you're not where you want to be and you're seeing someone else there you know it's it's a good thing to rejoice for them and it doesn't mean that you can't feel some type of way and like sorry for yourself and if it gets to a point where you're feeling too sorry for yourself and that it makes you envious for the next person that's when you know that it's time mute 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 because now you're not consuming the positivity and inspirational aspect of what the post is supposed to give you but to seeing it in a negative light that's when you need to take yourself to to towards yourself and account to yourself but why is this post making me feel some type of way you know I can't to your feelings. I can't to why am I feeling this way when I'm supposed to be um happy for the next person. Go on. And that's when you do the self work. You do the self introspection. You ask yourself the hard questions. And beyond just like the realities of adulting, these are the very key things that I found have been so important in just the free space and not dealing with just a lot in your 20s because I think it's very important to first deal with what's in, in, internal right in that way um the external things aren't as hard for example when somebody posts i ah, got to deal with x and x and then um you all of a sudden feel like oh my word i'm not doing enough but that was never your dream for one so you need to like come back to yourself again and think but that was never part of my dream to to begin with so why do i feel the pressure to 
feel like, ah, I need to do this, I need to do this, you know? Because it was never part of your plan, part of your dreams. And that's what social media can do as well. It can make you feel like, I went mix that time you've been at it. <laughs> and you're not even acknowledging yourself for having worked that hard to get to where you are. The only thing you're seeing is that other people are doing so much and you don't even know whether you're comparing yourself to the level 10 journey when you're on what a lower level in terms of it probably took them so many x years and if you just got started now that comparison like you can't compare the level of years that it took the person to get to that point and the, the level of years that you have um gotten to get to where you are so you need to be mindful of things like that and i hope i'm making sense when i say it that way And I definitely think this formula as well is a way to just have an aha moment for myself as well because I have really been thinking about these things and navigating about relationships that are very important in my life and things that are very important in my life because um, of the pressures that already exist when you are in your 20s, especially for... Um, People like us who are nearing the the late twenties, you know. After twenty one, I always say after twenty one, guys, like things just go like this. Like you don't know where time has gone. Like are we are like you just wonder like where has time gone? And it's crazy, man. Like <laughs> it is so crazy. But also have peace with the idea that so much can happen for you in. A year in six months but you have to be very intentional about these things um living an intentional life even with um your internal happiness your self-love it's choosing the battles in all aspects how you can be like um i don't want i'm not gonna surround myself with this friend because they did me dirty in that same way that you're being intentional about leaving that friend let it be that easy to leave a guy who's not treating you well why is it hard to leave the guy but it is to leave the friend you know um even with the things that you do being intentional about them in that way when you look back you can see that okay nah i i did that wake up and remind yourself as to who are you you know you're that girl listen Think of all the things that you're grateful for, that you've worked for, that are God-given, that are your talents. Listen, all of them, and name them. Think by a man. I did that. I am that. Therefore, I am that girl. Hey! <laughs> and even if there has been hurdles around getting to that point, it was the intention to be intentional that should matter. That's why I can abandon the party in Zani in your vision boards, Nienz and Tunana. So you can take off things, guys. There's so much fulfillment with being able to take off things. Sometimes for my to do list, I will finish something off that I didn't think I was going to finish off. If it wasn't there, I'll go write it <laughs> so that I can take it off. Mm. I just feel like that. Guess what's in this? And the winner will win something if you get it right. <laughs> yeah. And I actually had points here as well. Um, and oh, knowing your season. It goes back to knowing that when you look at other people, when you were intentional about what your dreams were, then you would know when it's your season. Like you would get to a point where when you see someone, you're able to rejoice for them and you're like, oh, that's amazing. And you know them, it was not for you. That was not meant for you. Even if it had been something that you both applied for and they got it, you need to get to a point where you are also content with knowing when your season is. And to those who believe in God, so, um, 
um tanazan in between tanazan if any bony light about where you should be um what you should be about pray and this year i'm making the conscious decision to go back and strengthen my relationship with god because when i looked back the other day before lockdown vanilla girl church every sunday and i realized how sundays have changed to go on there was just something very uplifting about um sunday and and i knew but the week was gonna start like on a good note and i think when covid happened and us not being able to go to church i think for a lot of people it really backtracked relationship their relationship with god and my intention then is being intentional about fixing that one and then the other last point i wanted to talk about you know what you're unhappy about about your life um and you're the only person who can fix that for yourself your mom is not going to do that your dad is not going to do that your friends are not going to do that you're the one who's supposed to be down for yourself like that like no one else is going to do that for you ever oh then he gave me sour cream guys okay so here's the soft one because i need you Mm. Mm. So, you know what you should be doing. Take yourself seriously. Quote unquote, Prof. Pakim. <laughs> um, you know what is required for you to get to where you need to be. Well, that is. Uh, living a healthier lifestyle um graduating um things that are that you know are within your control because sometimes really um things externally would um affect you getting to where you need to be but i'm talking about things that you know you can take full control of and you need to do holding yourself accountable for those things as well this is entirely a whole self drag and i can come back to this video and one day thank myself for having been intentional and having been persistent in the things that i want one um yeah it's a friday i've been thinking a lot and i thought you know what i know someone else out there is is having the same thoughts and i just want to encourage you that and continue praying and continue being hopeful and continue putting in the work even if you feel like like you've been putting in the work and nothing is seeming to to come from it believe in me we're at that slope we'll get to a point where it stops and it's rising and it's going high and you'll thank yourself when you get there yeah so if you feel like you have a similar experience about being your 20s let me know down below if you're in your 30s 40s give advice to 20 year olds down below <laughs> let's hear it because <laughs> sometimes i feel like when when you're 30 30 30 year olds always say like there's things that in, in, that they should have known they shouldn't have worried about in their 20s i would love to know all, all about that and yeah just share because sharing um and knowledge sharing one but also story sharing really empowers people and i really hope i can do more of that and be able to be more candid and open and honest with my process i really and truly love you all thank you so much for watching subscribe i see you